everybody what's going on out there. Hey, I got another product review for y'all. Straight from Amazon. That's right, Amazon. Everything comes from Amazon nowadays. Hey, if you don't shop on Amazon, you, you don't know what you're doing. So, I got this little dilly on Amazon. And I'm on here to tell you I've tried them out. I've used them and they work real good. I want to show them to y'all. So, if you got campers or boat trailers or or utility trailers, or lawnmowers, or you know your automobiles, your motorcycles, your bicycles. This is a I get thing hung up in there. This is a good little thing to have right here. So I I was kind of skeptical about this, but how many y'all ever had a screw in your tire? You now you get a screw in there or a nail in there, and that your tire don't really leak down a whole lot, but you notice you got a screw or something in there, and. Um, you know, and when you pull it out, all your air goes out your tire, or you take it to a, a tire shop somewhere, and they charge you, you know, $25, $30, or $40, $50, depending on what part of the country you're in, to fix your tire for you. You know, they take your tire off, put a patch on it, or used to years ago, I don't know if you still can, you can go buy somewhere and get a plug put in it. Now, anybody that owns a camper, anybody that pulls any kind of trailers, anybody that pulls anything or hauls anything with tubeless tires this video is for you so for years I've always kept my wife and I've kept my kids hooked up in their automobiles in other words I buy a little compressor kit I put some fix a flat in there and I put a tire kit in there it usually consists of plugs okay old plugs so I've taught my daughters and my sons and all, if you get a flat tire, find, you know, air your tire back up, find out where your nail is or your screw stuck in your tire. Always kept them with a pair of wire pliers, a screwdriver, a Phillips head, you know, always kept them with the stuff that they need in case they got stranded somewhere. So, you know, if it's a nail, you, you reach it in, you pull it out, you, you take your you take your file out, you shove it in and out of the hole on the on the tire, and then you take your plug and you put your plug in there, and then you shove your plug in and twist it, and you have to pull it out, then you add your tire up. So, a lot of people did that. So, anybody got campers and all that travel on the highway, you know you need this thing, what I'm telling you. So, this is a new invention I've been seeing floating around, and I've tried it, I've used it, I used it on my wife's truck the other day, and it works wonders. Uh, she had a, a, a nail in her tire, so... I pulled the nail out of the tire and used this kit, and I'm going to tell you what. Now we got two kits. We got one in my truck, and we got one added in her Tahoe. So if we go somewhere, she'll pull the boat, or she'll pull my bass boat, or she'll pull the pontoon boat, and I pull the camper with my truck. So if we go camping or somewhere, you know, within about 100 miles, that's how we do it. So this little kit comes with a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. I guess they figure you're going to get screws in, in your truck or whatever, but I mean, hey, that is what it is. So it comes with this little little pack, of, little pack of screws here, and it comes with this little cute little handle right here. So the handle fits on whichever way you want to use your little screwdriver, okay? Pull it out, turn it around like this, or put it in like that. So if you got a screw, I guess you unscrew it. If you got a Phillips head, you can unphillips it. So a screwdriver, flathead, will help you pry a nail out or something like that in your tire. Of course, I wouldn't just keep this kit in there with an air compressor. I'd also keep a pair of pliers in, in the vehicle. But that's what it's got in it. So these little bad boys right here. Let me tell you all something. I was skeptical about this, but you know when you got a nail in your, a screw in your tire, most of the time your tire don't leak until you pull the screw out. Let me see how I can get in this thing. This is a new one here. So this thing here comes with these little bullet, these little dudes right here in there. See them little things right there? So these little things are screws. They are actual stainless steel screws painted black. So let's see here. We got we, there's several different sizes in here. So I'm assuming the let me get the biggest one out of here. So the biggest one's gonna be about this size right here. So the biggest is gonna be about that size. So this little thing right here has got rubber on it. Silicone, rubber, whatever, I don't know what it is. So, anyhow, if you got a nail or something in your tire, you can unscrew the nail out of your tire, pull it out, and this thing right here will screw into your tire. Like I said, it's got some soft rubber around it. So this screws into your tire and seals the hole. Yeah. Seals the hole, and it will stay in your tire, screwed into your radial tire. 
until you can get it fixed or till you just don't need the tire no more. But this are, these are new ways to plug your tire instead of putting a plug in them. It's just an easy and simple way. You just simply screw it. Wherever it went. You just simply screw this thing into your tire. Now it won't work on tubes, but it works on tires. So there, I was trying to get it where y'all can see it a little bit. My old hand is shaky. So that's what, well, anyhow, I don't guess it's going to stay. I'll need a bigger screwdriver. So anyhow, that's what that little thing looks like. And it's stainless steel. Screw it in. Wish it well. So that's a pretty neat little tire patching kit. So these little things right here, they don't cost very much, but let's see, we'll see what how much they are. So this little kit right here, they're 12 bucks. So on Amazon. So that's how much they are. Okay, I'll show y'all. So so basically they from six dollars to eleven dollars, depending on what kit you get. Now there's a six dollar kit right here on Amazon. It's six bucks for that, and you, you see how it works, how, how it goes in there. So they show you they show you the tire lug, they sit here and they show you how it goes in and everything and just screws in your tire, you pull the old one out, so it's pretty neat. So for six dollars, uh, you can throw this in your ride with a little cheap little twelve dollar compressor that plugs into your glove box on your vehicle, or into your cigarette lighter plug, or into your light plug or whatever you want to call them nowadays. I'm old fashioned, we always call them cigarette lighter plug. I, I guess you young folks nowadays call them accessory plugs for spotlights and stuff. I don't know. But anyhow, they plug into that. You can stick one of these in there, air your tire, and be on your merry way and ain't got to worry about a tow truck coming and get you or somebody stopping to help you change your tire. Now, I will say this about the air compressors. They like anything else that's made in China. It's small. It's short. Just saying. <laughs> so... If you buy an air compressor to go in your automobile, and I'll show you what one looks like, what I'm talking about.